Hello, and welcome to the 11th episode of the Kid Broadway Podcast, Intimate Conversations with Community and Professional Actors in Broadway News. And today we are chatting with Emily Hoder. Now please, sit back, relax, and enjoy the Kid Broadway Podcast. So, Emily, the first question that I always like to ask is, where are you from? I'm from Parkland, Florida. Uh, How did you get into the whole theater thing? So, I went to this, so I was actually in Orlando. We were having, like, a family reunion with all my family members, and then we got this audition for Annie, so I went, it was at the Wick Theater, and I went and auditioned, and we didn't think anything of it. We just thought, all right, this might be a fun audition, all right, let's go. But then they came back, and I got a call back, so then I went back, and then I just got the role, and then the theater has been going on since, so yeah. <laughs> Do you have any pre-show rituals? Do you know what a pre-show ritual is? Um, oh, 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 like something like, okay, that makes me not, okay, I like to go like this, so I, I put my hands on top of my head and then all my nerves go, I go, <laughs> <laughs> and then all my nerves go away. That's cool. Uh, so yeah. I, I like, I, I like. I, like, think about all my nerves in my head, and I'm like, I just push them all away. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, you were Little Cosette and Little Eponine in the Broadway National Tour of Les Miserables. Uh, how was that experience? It was super fun. I loved making new friends, and I loved being on stage, singing alone in all the spotlight. That was really fun. I loved playing ukulele backstage with all my friends, because we all like to play ukulele. And I also love traveling to new cities and new towns. That was really fun. That's cool. Uh, how was the audition process like for that, Les Mis? So I went to New York, and it was really fun. So I just auditioned, and then I got a call back, and then they asked me to come back in, so I auditioned. And then we only had a few hours left in New York, so me and my mom were running around like, crazy people and we were running around in Times Square, we were going to the M&M store, the Hershey store, the Disney store, we were going to all those fun stores. <laughs> That's really cool. And uh, do you look up to anyone in the theater world? I look up to, um, I look up to Patrick Dunn, he was in Les Mis, he played Jean Valjean, I look up to all of the actors in Les Mis, like the big actor, like all the like the famous actors, I look up to Jimmy Smagula, I look up to Michelle Dowdy, I look up to all those people because I just think they're so amazing and I want to be like them one day. That's great. And uh, what advice would you give to anyone listening now? I would say just always make sure to have fun and don't be scared. Just like, you know, have fun on stage and... And just, tr- and just practice, practice, and then, you know, you'll just get it and always have fun. That's the most important thing. Yeah, that's great advice. And we're going to wrap up here in a minute, but uh, are you up to anything right now? Any new projects? I'm just focusing on school right now, but I might be able to share some fun new soon. So we can find you on Instagram at EmilyJewel7. Is there anywhere else we can find you? Um, no. Okay. So thank you, Emily, for coming on the podcast.